Alrighty, we're going to see Spider-Man No Way Home in 4DX. Mm. The extended, more fun stuff edition. What do you think? Are you, are you excited? Looking forward to it. Definitely. Yeah. My god, look how big the screen is again. Look at it. It's huge. We are back at Cineworld. Hola. 4DX. Hello, minis. It's me, Zulikia, and today. I went to go watch Spider-Man No Way Home, the more fun stuff edition, or the extended cut, um, that was put in the theatres. Um, and, yeah, I went to go watch it with Rusty, um, in Cineworld, which is one of the big, uh, big, uh, cine well, big cinema companies that has, like, 4DX, IMAX, Super Screen, Screen X, I think, as well. We only have IMAX and 4DX. The, 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 those, are new, these, those are the only two premium formats that we have uh, in that location where we went. Uh, the same location we went to when we went to watch uh, Jurassic World Dominion in 4DX. So um, I'm going to be talking about my opinions, uh, my initial, well, sorry, initial reaction. We couldn't really record our initial reaction um, after the film because we were running late for the train and we missed the train, so we had to get the next train. So, um, we didn't want to record it on the train because we were just really tired and we were out of breath because we ran. We we tried to wrap. We tried to run to the train station because it's like a fifteen minute walk from the cinema to the train station. So yeah, we had to try and get there as quickly as possible. But unfortunately, it just left as we got there. Yeah, so we managed to get a train like twenty minutes after. Like a twenty, uh, we had to wait like twenty minutes for the next train. So. Yeah, so instead of doing an initial reaction, we might just do like a short review. Um, I'm going to first show you um, Rusty's first, like, really quick um, short review. Um, in this clip, he says he's tired um, because we had a long day. A lot of walking, a lot of running, um, and a bit of drama as well. So um, we had a long day, so apologies if uh, either of us are a little bit sluggish in this video, so... Um, there's our reason, and our excuse. <laughs> so, um, before you listen to what I have to say about the film, or my experience in 4DX of Spider-Man, uh, I'm gonna hand it over to Rusty. Take it away, Rusty. I am tired, <laughs> but I went and watched Spider-Man No Way Home More Fun Edition. That was, that was a treat. That's some neat trick you got there. Um, the new scenes were good, the new scenes were good, good, um, what else, hmm, the seats, yes, the seats as well, but there was a few times where you just sat there and nothing's happening with the seats, the effects and everything, it was all synced up, it was all synced up, very, very good. Um, I'd watch this version of the theatrical cut, but i got to say my experience at Penzance Cinema was way way better than the one at Cineworld just because of the audience and obviously it was the first time so yeah good film okay thank you Rusty uh as I've already said I apologize if uh if he's a little bit sluggish but I don't blame him it was a long day so um I'm not gonna give him a hard time so um by the way New glasses. Should have mentioned that earlier, but uh, here we are now. So, um, just had to point that out. I don't know why, but you may have noticed already. But um, so, as Rusty's just mentioned, what he thinks uh, of his experience uh, with Spider Man No Way Home in 4DX, I'm now going to give you my opinion. It was great. Now, it wasn't, personally, it wasn't as good, and he agrees as well with me, uh, when we were on the train, uh, on the way back. Um, we both think the Jurassic World Dominion, um, 4DX experience was better. Um, mostly because there was a lot more 4DX motion with it, because, uh, for example, like, the scenes, um, like, the, um, the interrogation scene with Peter, um, MJ and Ned, Obviously, I know they're obviously in each separate rooms, but I'm saying, like, that, that those scenes, or that scene, should I say, um, obviously there was not very, there was not much motion, which 
makes completely sense because there's not really much movement or anything. So, um, anyway, so yeah, uh, at the start there were like a few a few good um, parts at the start where it was like oh actually quite good, like for example when uh, Mysterio reveals Peter's ad- identity, um, like obviously what happened at the end of Far From Home, and obviously that's what comes in with Noah Home. Um, obviously when Peter um, obviously swings with MJ to his apartment uh, and that was a really cool scene where you felt it and also with the web slinging the web slings like with the, the air comes in it was just like oof he actually kind of made us jump a little bit um, but yeah it was, it was really fun um, obviously the climax with obviously Toby, Andrew and Tom um, was most the most effective because it had all the all the different um, all the different movements well all the different stuff that is in 4DX like with the rain uh, well, not so much the rain, but it's just all the different effects, like the spray, the movement, um, there are like flashing lights as well, like, well, like with electro, because obviously it's electric and it's like quite, like, quite, like, um, static lights, not static lights, but you know, flickering lights, um, yeah, it was, it was like, it, it was in the third, it was kind of in the, th- between the second and third act is when it started getting more good for 4DX, but, as a film as a whole, it was okay. I mean, I wouldn't have mind watching it in 2D after obviously just experiencing it because it wasn't as good as we were hoping. But as obviously we came out, we kind of understood, we kind of were like, yeah, I guess. Because obviously at the start there was a lot. There's a lot of. There's not really that much movement. Obviously, aside from obviously the swinging at the start. Obviously, when Peter uh, takes MJ to his apartment. Um, aside from that. There's not really that much like web slinging or web swing, sorry, um, or that 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 much action. I mean, there was like a few vibrations here and there. Uh, for example, like the helicopter that was outside Peter's apartment. Um, that was like, you could feel the vibrations, which is cool. But um, overall, it was fine. It wasn't bad. Uh, I thought that obviously the as always as like before I say as always <laughs> it's our second time in the 4DX but like last time it was very much in sync with the film the 4DX motion um, and the effects um, but we 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 honestly think that the Jurassic World Dominion uh, was better in 4DX than this film not to say that this was crap but it was just it just felt for Jurassic World Dominion felt like it was meant for 4DX because obviously like with the stomps with the dinosaurs that that was just great because you feel every movement like if you if you've experienced 4DX then you know what I'm talking about but for people that haven't it's 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 it just changes your experience with cinema honestly if you have a obviously if you live near a cinema that has 4DX Oh, IMAX, even IMAX, like, go check that out, I haven't experienced IMAX yet, personally, but I want to, and the next film I want to go, actually want to go watch for the first time in IMAX is Halloween Ends, which I'm hoping is a good conclusion, um, but aside from that, it was good, I will say it's good, so, um, I don't, I want to kind of keep this video a bit short, um, at least for, obviously, our opinions, because this is not, like, a full review, it's just, like, our reactions and what our initial thoughts are of the film, and the, well, mostly the experience, because we've already, so obviously, watched the film, we watched it in day one, in our local, um, cinema, um, we had to, like, we obviously had to travel by train, obviously, as I mentioned earlier, because it's, like, it's, like, a two-hour journey, uh, to, obviously, where we had to go to, to, obviously, go to Cineworld, um, so yeah, um, it was good, it wasn't bad by any means, I just wish it obviously could do with more 4DX motion, especially at the beginning, mostly at the beginning, I think the, the, the third act was great, um, is this the best movie for 4DX? No, I, well, not just, I don't know, the best I'm talking about, like, one of the best at least. Um, I, th- I mean, it's cool, some of the websites, I guess it just depends on the scenes, I guess, because it has a, a longish introduction, this film, it kind of leaves, leave, leaves out the 4DX a little bit, and then once the action kicks in, it's, it's really good, 
Anyway, uh, I'm going to head off now because it is almost 11.30pm uh, when I'm recording this, so, uh, yeah. Um, thank you, Rusty, for inviting me to go watch Spider-Man No Way Home in 4DX. Um, I hope you guys like our opinions on this experience. Yeah, so I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Uh, I'm not sure what that's going to be, uh, as I always say, because I honestly don't know what it is, because if I say what I want it to be, and then it ends up not being it, then I feel bad. So I'm not sure yet, but whatever it is, stay tuned for that.